Hi guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the book I picked for July, Harriet the Spy by Louise Fitzhugh. I thought by picking this children's book it would be fun and funny and quick. And I, I mean, I, it was a children's book so I did read it pretty quickly. But I have to say it was more serious and went a little deeper than I expected. I remember liking the movie when it came out. But I don't remember if I ever read the book, and I don't remember anything about it, so just as well that I just read it now. This book follows Harriet, who wants to be a spy when she grows up, so she gets a notebook and writes down observations about the people she spies on, and she spies on people pretty hardcore, like by tailing them and looking into their windows and even like climbing into dumbwaiters and in somebody else's house and stuff like that. And when I started reading I expected kids pretending to be spies and learning life lessons about being kind. And I guess those things happened. But there were tons of other life lessons there about doing what you love, which Harriet gets a lot of like practice and advice in how to be a writer. Um, which is really what she wants to do, to be a writer. Um, <laughs> And it is also has um, lessons about having to do things that you don't want to do even if you think they're dumb because they'll be good for you in the future, like dancing lessons for Harriet so that she can be a spy and get all of her intel while dancing with the bad guys or something. I was a little confused on that point. <laughs> I love how Harriet struggles with the questions of privilege and affluence even if she doesn't quite figure everything out or put it in those terms. At least by like paying attention to details she at least thinks about other people I think more than um, maybe some of her friends do. I don't know. We weren't inside their heads. I don't know what they were thinking. But I also have to say that even as Harriet learns that not everyone has the same life goals as she does um, and that not everyone goes to private lessons and has a nanny. I don't think she ever really gets out of her upper class mentality. And I think Liz kind of thought about this too, that Harriet and, and I mean, not all of her friends, but some of her friends being like spoiled upper class kids. I also thought the drama and reactions of Harriet and her friends were childish, like Liz, but I remember what it was like in middle school when I was 11, and I'd say it's pretty realistic. I mean, I didn't have a nanny or anything, but people discovering my journal, but then also people saying mean things about me and how that makes you feel or whatever. Pretty realistic. I like to judge books based on who they were meant for, and this book was not meant for a jaded 20-something. Um, it's meant for a kid just now trying to figure out how to behave in society without like parental supervision, or in Harriet's case, a nanny supervision. <laughs> I think it does a good job of showing the consequences of letting your unfiltered thoughts into the world. Harriet still has a lot of growing up to do, but I think this book really shows her learning how to behave more like an adult and learning to think complexly about the world and the people in it. Alright, so Kayla, I hope to hear your thoughts soon and to learn the book for next month. Alright, bye!